from beautiful Menton. We are here for the Lemon Festival and just to get a little time out of Paris, out of the city, soak up some sun. It's cloudy right now, but it's pretty early still. I have my little espresso and I'm just enjoying the morning sitting out here on our beautiful balcony. We are staying right on the coast. We have just a beautiful view of the ocean and oh, I'm so happy to be here. I love it. Anytime I'm near the Mediterranean, I'm just a happy girl. So yeah, feeling really good. We have some really fun plans for the day. We got in last night and just went and had a lovely dinner and crashed. It was about a six and a half hour train ride, so it's a pretty long ways to get here. But that's fine it was worth it the train goes through the entirety of france if you leave from paris and you see like all of provence and then it goes all along the coast um, starting from marseille so you see everything it's beautiful it's a beautiful train ride so i highly suggest it we really enjoyed it um, but yeah so i didn't film much yesterday but i wanted to film all of today and tomorrow we are going to be doing some things that have to do with the lemon festival as well as just going and exploring menton so gonna take you with me. I'm just gonna have the rest of my coffee and then we're gonna go grab breakfast. We decided to enjoy breakfast at our hotel that had a wonderful sea view before heading out to check out our first location in Menton. Lining the streets are peculiar sculptures made entirely of lemons and oranges and they are pretty much everywhere around the city. The theme of the Lemon Festival this year was operas and dances, and every structure played music and had floral arrangements dedicated to the ballet or opera it represented. As you can see behind me, we are at the Lemon and Orange Sculptures, the garden. It's free to come to. It's incredible. There's thousands of oranges and lemons, real ones, not fake ones, that they made these crazy sculptures from that are as tall as the buildings here. It's so, so cool. Although there were some crowds, I was surprised to find many areas empty. I'm not sure if this was due to the pandemic, or if this is just a quiet festival. We took a break to try a lemon-based treat, a crepe with lemon and sugar. Simple, messy, and so delicious. We are currently in the Jardin du Madonna, I believe it's called, but it's an incredible um, orchard of basically every citrus plant that you could imagine. So there's pomelos, oranges, lemons, kumquats, all the different kinds of lemons, and I believe they use it to graft other trees all over Europe. So it's a super important collection and it's beautiful, it smells so good. We're just walking around and enjoying the day and there's 
literally nobody here. There's no other tourists, so this is a great spot to come if you visit Menton, definitely. This is a lime quad, which I've never heard of or seen before. After the garden, as the sun started to come out, we decided to find a gelateria where I had the forest berry gelato, which you might remember from my Dubrovnik vlog. It's always my favorite. So we are back out now. I just changed. My hair was getting a little bit too um, frizzy from all the humidity. So we just had to go take a quick shower, get changed, and now we just grabbed a pan bonnet, which is my favorite sandwich here on the Mediterranean. So we're gonna go sit on the beach and have some lunch. A pan bonnet is a simple sandwich made with fresh tuna, onion, niçoise olives, hard boiled egg, and sometimes anchovies. After our lunch, we decided to head into the Old Town via Romp Saint-Michel, a stunning yellow staircase that leads to the Basilica of Saint-Michel Archange. This is a wonderful photo opportunity, and you also get great views of the beach from here. At the top of the hill in Menton, just a 10 minute walk from the historic center, is the Cemetery de Vieux Chateau. This is an incredibly beautiful place with astonishing views of the city and sea. Even though it was cloudy, we could still see the mountains on the border of Italy stretched out in front of us and the colorful town below. While grabbing our second gelato of the day, we found ourselves accidentally in the middle of a parade. This is pretty common during the Lemon Festival as there are dozens of mini parades daily. When we returned to our room to freshen up for dinner, we saw the same parade from our balcony. got ready and we are about to head out to dinner. It is a beautiful night in Menton. I'm so excited. We're gonna go to a really classic Italian restaurant. I'm stoked to have some pasta, so 
yeah, we're just going to head out, go walk along the water a little bit, and yeah, go get some good food and hopefully some wines. I'll take you. Such a beautiful city at night, as you can see, all lit up. Just started to rain a little bit. Well, <laughs> that's okay. Guess we're gonna be walking in the rain. <laughs> I will have all the restaurants in places we visited on a blog post coming this weekend. I'll have my blog linked below in the description. At dinner, I enjoyed an Americano, my all-time favorite cocktail, and I rarely find it anywhere but Italy. I also had fresh pasta with squid and sea urchin, or ricci in Italian. After dinner, we strolled along the beach and watched all the lights twinkle in the water. It was a perfect day and I couldn't wait to experience more Menton tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting part two of the Menton vlogs next week. I appreciate all your support and I hope you have a beautiful week. I'll see you next time.